Well, hey friends, today I wanted to share with you an updated tour of my son's room. He is two and a half and this is his space. So I had filmed a tour of his room a few months ago, um, but we recently kind of made a few changes and I want to walk you through those today. So I am standing right in front of his door. It is a really small room. It's the smallest bedroom in our house, but I wanted to share with you how we um, use some color and uh, big pieces to make an impact in his little space. There are still a couple more things that I need to do to make his room complete. However, it is as close to being done as it has ever been. So let me give you a tour. So this is his door that you walk in and out of. It is just off our main hall. And in this little area, we have a little drop zone for him. So normally his uh, bath towel hangs on one of these hooks. And then he has his little dinosaur backpack. And he takes that with him when he goes to grandma's house or to church um, and holds, you know, so just some of his supplies. So these hooks are from Ikea, and they are little little dog butts <laughs> and their tails. Um, they come in lots of different colors, but we chose black to kind of keep the room grounded and um, just to be classic. If we decide later, we could use these somewhere else in our home. We have lots of dogs. My husband raises competition hunting dogs, so um, <laughs> dogs are an important part of our world. And then a new addition is this mirror. It, um, I picked it up at Hobby Lobby probably a year or two ago. Um, and it just had never put it up. I didn't have a spot for it, but it just really worked with the colors of his room. So we have that there. And then next is his closet. I'll give you a sneak peek inside, but I am going to do a whole entire closet tour. Up above we have this blue whale, and this is from Target. So just to show you really quick in here. I'm not totally done with the organization, but you can kind of get a sneak peek of what is going on in his closet. So that video will come up probably in the next month or so. So then we have his dresser, and this is an IKEA dresser. It's I believe it's called Hemmins or I don't know how to pronounce IKEA names, but um, it's H E M N E S. If you are interested in this type of dresser, it holds a ton of stuff. So we have this, and then on top, he's got a few display pieces. So he's got his little lamp, and that's from Target. This is a Scentsy Warmer. It is a reproduction of a Shasta trailer, and I do have the warmer on. As you can see, the little light shines out of the window. Super duper cute. It's my favorite warmer ever. And then I have this picture up above. Um, it is from a company called Children Inspire Design, and I just love how it says, Compassion for the Earth and All Who Inhabit It. And it works so perfect, and it's just, you know, a message that I want my son to understand and know. So then over here on his dresser, he has got uh, just this little frame. I still need to put something in it, whether I put some scrapbook paper with a letter C in it, his name is Colt, um, or what, but for now it's just uh, the teddy bears. And then we've got his diffuser. So this is a Sensei diffuser, and the lights can change a um, whole bunch of different colors, but I just have it set on the blue right now. I'm not sure if it's quite picking up, but it's very bright, bright blue. And so that is his diffuser. And then here, just tucked behind the dresser is his fan. We use a fan for white noise, and um, it works super duper great. One of the newest additions of his room is this rug. So I picked this up from Zoo Lily before my son was even born. He's two and a half now. And with Zoo Lily, you cannot return things. And I had a whole vision in my mind for how I wanted to decorate his room. It was going to be a woodland theme. I felt like the rug was going to be a major bonus. It was going to be perfect. However, I changed my mind <laughs> and I did something different. And the rug would no longer work. And in my house, I have no red anywhere. So it sat in the closet for years, um, for about two years, two and a half, almost three years. I tried to sell it numerous times. It was brand new. I'd never even taken it out of the package, but um, no one bought it. 
And on a whim, I decided I wanted some color in his space. And I love uh, turquoise blue and red and white together. So I laid it down and I am so in love with it. So um, it's a five by eight rug and it feels wonderful under our feet. And it's, it's, I love how it complements his room. So then I have this little table and chair set. This is from Ikea. This was originally in my daughter's room. Um, her room is small as well, and we picked her up some more decor pieces in her room. And the table just no longer really fit. So my son was kind of loving the table, so we moved it in here. And on top, this is another Ikea toy that I picked up from a yard sale. And then underneath is his ride-on hippo toy. He has become a little too big for it, however, sometimes he does ride it. So it's there for now, but likely we will be either giving it to Grandma for the next set of grandkids, or we will be selling it. So that is that little area. And then over here, I have got um, just another toy that's too young for him. Um, it's from Target. But, um, you know, I guess I've been holding on to it, wondering if we would have another baby, because I love this toy so much, and it's so great for kids. Um, but for now, it's there. We don't have another spot in our home to store it. Uh, so it stayed there, and occasionally he does kind of play with it. So it's just kind of tucked out of the way, and um, he likes it. <laughs> so then I've got this picture right here. So inside this glass is... Uh, some wrapping paper. This was wrapping paper that his aunt had wrapped uh, Colt's birthday presents in for his first birthday. Or no, his second birthday. Yeah, his second birthday. And I saved some of the paper because it matches so well with uh, the things that we've got going on in his room. With the whale above the door, with just the light blues. Um, yeah, so perfect. So the one thing that I do want to still do in the room is put a picture here. What I'm thinking of doing is just using my vinyl cutting machine and um, painting a board and then putting his name in red on the board. So that's a project still to come and I'll be sure to update you whether I do a video of a how-to or if I just post it on Instagram. Make sure to follow me there to see what I end up doing. So we painted stripes on Colt's wall before he uh, before we moved in and I love the stripes. My husband did the brown underneath um, in between the stripes. I hadn't initially planned for that. I thought that the stripes would just, the blue and the white would meet, but I really like the tan in between. It gives it just another layer of, um, of color. So this is his crib. He is still in a full crib. Uh, this is a convertible bed, so it will convert down into a toddler bed and then ultimately into a full-size bed. And we'll probably be doing that, um, converting it to a toddler bed in the next couple weeks or so. Um, but for now, <laughs> he sleeps fine and he um, isn't climbing out, so it works for us, and that's what we're doing. So this is just his bedding just normal sheet and um, this is his favorite blanket anytime that it's in the wash he goes and grabs it out as soon as it's done being washed it's just something from uh, Target I never did end up doing specific bedding for him I just kind of went with sheets that matched his decor and this is his boppy we don't use it anymore except it is a really good uh, pillow for when we're just kind of hanging out um, on the floor in his room and then his stuffies so then over in this area, Colt is potty trained. This is his little potty. It's just, we only have one bathroom and it's just easier for him to have his own little potty and the diaper genie back there because he is still in diapers at night and for naps. And then his toy system. So this, I have done a video about how I've organized this toy system and um, the bins still work for the system that we have used. They're all designated for different things. And then this is just a look at some of the decor that are in the shelves. I'll walk you just really quickly through. This fire truck I picked up at a garage sale for 75 cents. And then these are some of his favorite books that he likes to read right now. And then this truck um, is one of those green toys. It's so tough. So if you're a mom of littles, these green toys are amazing. And then he has some puzzles that we picked up uh, from a yard sale. 
and then another little uh, toy, and then a little hat that we picked up from a yard sale as well. And then up above, my friend um, crocheted this bear for Colt. We call Colt Colty Bear, uh, so it was so perfect. And then she even crocheted his name on the back. So I have it sitting up here because I don't want him to kind of damage it, and he can't reach the top shelf. He's got a C for Colt. And then I am a director with Sensi, and I've got Sensi all over my home. And so Colt has a couple warmers in his room. These are not plugged in, um, just because there's no outlet on this wall. Uh, but I do have them as display pieces because they are such little works of art. So we've got uh, this warmer. It is retired, but it goes so well with his room. And it was one of the first warmers that we had in his room. And then I have a jack-in-the-box. And then this is my very first Scentsy Buddy, and you can no longer get this one. It um, means a lot to me. It's quite vintage <laughs> in the world of Scentsy now. And then this little tissue box that matched it so perfectly. And then um, another Scentsy Warmer. Uh, by the time this video goes up, this warmer is retiring. Um, but it has all sorts of different hand-drawn designs on it. But I really like the whale because um, we've got so many whale things in his room. And I've paired it with this sign from Lindsay Letters. And this is a hand-lettered sign. Um, and it just really goes with the hand-lettered look of the warmer. So this system is the IKEA Expedit system. It's no longer available. It's now called Kalax. And it's a bit thinner. I picked this up secondhand for $50, which is awesome. And then just up above, we have some artwork. And I picked that up on Etsy, and I will leave the seller down below. This is when we were going with the woodland theme. But I still think it works quite well with his room. So that is just a look at my little guy's room, a little updated tour of some of what we've got going on. As things change, I will be sure to kind of update you, whether on Instagram or here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.